Next up is a squirrel blue and silver. Doesn't get much easier uh, or simpler from uh, a sea trout fly perspective, but a very, very effective pattern. Um, it's produced fish for me yeah, in the UK, but also uh, one of my favorite patterns down on the likes of the Rio Grande in Argentina too. So a great all-round pattern and uh, certainly worth including in your in your fly box. This is a, a, a variation from a, a standard squirrel blue and silver mainly because of uh, I'm going to put a, a, a butt section, a, a, a bright orange butt section in on the fly. But that's that's pretty much it. It's very much still a, a squirrel blue and silver. So thread, uh, sorry I've got a, a Partridge Patriot up eye silver size 8 in the vise. Uh, you can utilize you yeah, know that and down basically I would probably recommend yeah down to 14s um, and you don't have to use silver I it's just what I've usually used for this pattern um, thread is uh, Vivas 10 o in red it's gonna catch that in just shy of the head like so and there's no tail on this fly so it's a again a pretty simple fly to, to use it's going to catch in some fluorescent orange thread you got some uni products uh, this is uh, a vivas one just a really nice bright orange I think they'd probably call it a fire orange just catch that in draw that down so you don't have to tie over it too much just there take it down to where you'd want that tag to start and then just form just form a nice tag when you finish creating the tag um, this stuff can be fairly brittle so it is worth super gluing or put, say, putting some UV, uh, UV uh, resin over this just to make it a bit more robust uh, and also the final turn, take the final turn in through the center of the the two hooks, the double, and just pull that. That just draws everything in nice and tight. And tie over that floss just to secure it. So you've got a nice target hot point. Take the thread up towards the eye again. The body is going to be uh, some uh, flat braid. This is a woven material um, and it's a multi fibered material. What you then have is you can do this with uh, holographic silver tinsel and a silver wire rib. I just for ease of use and actually. Uh, how how fast I can actually get these off the vise? I just tend to use the the the, uh, the flat braid because I don't have to rib or anything. Because essentially, you, even if a, a fish does bite one of these sections, because it's woven, it doesn't just unravel. Take it up towards the eye, secure with the thread. Take a couple couple of turns just to secure it, and then take the thread back over that base just to give you a really firm and secure snip that pretty tight wing as per the name of the uh, the fly it's a squirrel so it's a squirrel blue and silver so we've got the, the silver part thus far now we're going to work on the squirrel so just take a pun pinch of natural squirrel tail just cut that off what you then have is just grab the, the tips and just brush out that under foot, you don't want that in there. That's just going to add unnecessary bulk. What you're then left with is just a nice, nice, fairly sparse wing. Uh, bring that down, measure it, imagine it protruding, I would say around f five mil past the, the hook bend. So when you're happy with the measurement, measure it up that way first, switch hands and bring it back in for a pinch and loop. And then just take hold the fibers in place and take some tight turns over, over that base. 
and there you have it just stuck nicely in place take the scissors and clip these really close because otherwise you have some annoying little fibers sticking out into the eye of the hook which are really difficult to to get at so that's the wing done next thing is a head uh, sorry no first before the head hackle one piece of flash so uh, silver crystal hair it's going to take one strand just take one strand take the strand behind the thread and bring the thread up uh, bring the strand up the thread and that's already secured in place measure it up so it's uh, straight down the middle of that wing when you're happy to take a couple of turns over and that keeps it in line snip them off snip them off in different intervals but around the end of the wing there you go head tackle so we've got the squirrel and the silver in place now we need the blue so the blue is going to be a um, blue hen hackle got a, a saddle cape here I think this would be a uh, silver doctor blue perhaps but honestly whatever blue takes your fancy I'm a you know, big fan of royal blue actually so this is quite a rare color for well not a rare color but definitely my confidence is in a royal blue so I'm just going to measure it up just make sure I've got a feather that's the right length and I'm just looking for it to finish around the, the just past the hook point so we've got one there you should look for a feather that does end around the hook points that's usually the the gauge that most people work off I'm just stripping off the flue so this bottom end here I'm gonna cut just some of that bottom stuff so I'm just left with a nice usable feather keep this fairly long because essentially that negates the the, the need for hackle players you just hold on to onto this in the tip section I'm just gonna stroke these fibers back just give me a tying in point like so Got a nice tying in point there what I do is just snip that off like so and that V I'm gonna tie in that V basically tie introduce it to secure it like so now just loosen up a lot of these individual fibers I'll try and double them over slightly as well just to make it easier and they don't trap each other when you are tying them in just like so and just go slowly stroke them back with every turn you do so there's nothing being trapped to stroke them back I'm also trying to do one straight after each other so try not to take the stem over where you did the last turn and it depends on the amount of fiber on your hackle but usually around two maximum three turns is is enough that's fine so it's going to secure that off And then double all of this back just to give you a nice clear access to the head and also what you're doing at the same time is tying over the base of that hackle stem so that gives you it just secures everything in place for you snip off the rest of that hackle stem and there's basically your squirrel blue and silver so at this point you can act, uh, add um, jungle cock if you like or just leave it like that and for the purpose of this video I'm just going to leave it like that because you don't need to it's, it's basically jungle cock just becomes a, an extravagance just tidy that head up slightly and tie it off
and that's it done. So that's the squirrel blue and silver. Uh, just a great all round sea trout fly. And you can see that, just that butt section just showing through there. Really simple fly, but a very, very effective fly. Tie a few up and uh, give them a go. I hope they bring you luck. Tight lines.